Man, the space sim genre used to be huge back in the day. One of the biggest that I can recall right away is X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter. I played the hell out of that. There was also the Wing Commander series, which is pretty unforgettable. But also, there was Descent. Descent was huge for allowing players a lot of freedom in the 6-axis movement not seen in previous flight sims. When I heard that Descent was coming back, and it was coming back with joystick support and everything I pretty much loved of that genre I got excited I actually bought a new Logitech Extreme 3D Pro controller just to play this game so I wanted to see and I was very interested on um, what they were gonna do now I gotta be honest with you setting up this controller was a pain not necessarily that the computer didn't recognize it but once you get into the game you have to uh, set it up and you have to pick your type of control scheme whether it's normal old school and it's very difficult to determine what equals what it's like old school with a twist like what the hell does that mean so it was very it was just weird just for me uh, trying to figure out which configuration would work better for me but honestly after all these controller hassles I was really excited the first 15 minutes the controls are very solid with the joystick and honestly, it really is the best way to play the game. Just being able to move around, shooting down enemies, it's really nostalgic and I was happy. I felt like a kid again. I know it's cheesy to say this, but I actually did. The biggest strength that the game has going for it is the presentations. The graphics are amazing, especially on Ultra. I mean, the motion blur is a little bit too much, but other than that, it's great. Uh, the frame rate was also very solid and stable at 60 frames per second, and the explosions are awesome. Uh, the weapon sound effects are pretty nice uh, when you shoot them. Unfortunately, they sound weak on impact against other ships and the environment. So, so far there are a decent amount of ships for you to play with, and they all have a nice variety uh, with them. Some are faster than others, some are stronger for attack, some can take more hits and others can perform unique features that others can't like build turrets and be more strategic in that way <sighs> fortunately after the 15 minutes the chinks in the armor really started to show uh, one of the biggest um, problems is there's just not much for offline play uh, there's currently a campaign that's being in development but it's more like a prologue and it isn't really as feature packed as they made it seem to be um, so far there's only three modes for offline play there's test there's versus bots and there's survival so survival mode when you play it is pretty self-explanatory um, in each room you need to survive against the waves of enemies but to move on to the next room you need to capture the point in that room the capture point um, unfortunately it's only one map at the moment and also one kill and it's game over for you it's very hard for single player and trying to get it online I couldn't really find anyone so yeah, I couldn't really go far in this one also, the training mode is very bare bones. It doesn't go over many of the complexities that you will see in online play against other players. So obviously, the game is more marketed to multiplayer at the moment. Um, there's tons of games modes for multiplayer, which is awesome. Unfortunately, nobody plays this game. Even on weekends and on prime time, when you expect to find people. The only game I found was against the developers, and they rightfully handed my ass to me. A uh, multiplayer is just more designed for the mouse as well. I've noticed, um, just that it's easier to aim and everything, since you know the joystick is not going to be as precise and it's going to be a little slower. And a mouse, you can just point to right there and kill your enemy. So it, you will. It, it is an unfair advantage if you're if you're using your joystick. You will have a bit of a handicap against you, unless you're really MLG pro with it. So there's also a little archive I'd like to call it called meet the ships uh, you can click on the ships and you can see like what they're about and get a little bit of an explanation um, unfortunately not all the ships are currently present and it's honestly pretty pointless as the videos say exactly the same thing as the summary does so you're not learning anything new and that's really it not much else to say um, it's been two years and I th just thought or almost two years and I just thought that the developers would have gotten much farther especially with the offline play and just with the total package itself it just feels very bare bones and again that's disappointing it's been in development for almost two year two full years you would ex we expect a lot more and because of that I can't support it um it's just the lack of updates is a huge problem for me and it feels very alpha instead of a really solid beta 
I'm, again, just very disappointed. You have all these games, you know, on early access. Gear City is is one of them that you can play right now and pretty much go through the whole offline campaign. I know it's a different genre and everything. And there's also some other people. I'm not going to mention them, but I've been hearing that there's some other people on early access similar to Descent. So maybe I might check that out for a future video, possibly. That's why I don't want to give it away, but eh, we'll keep that on the side. Anyways, not much else to say, so I'm just going to keep repeating myself here and now. Thank you guys for watching as always. I appreciate your support. And this is Powerhouse, signing off.